In the last example, we saw how to conditionally run effects. In this video, let's see how to run an effect only once. Or for those of you with the knowledge of class components, how to mimic component did mount with use effect and functional components. First, let's quickly take a look at an example that makes use of class components. So in the class component, we have a constructor. We have variables to store the x and y coordinate position of the mouse pointer. In component did mount, we add an event listener. We listen to the mouse move event and log the mouse position in the state variables. We then render that position in the UI. If you take a look at the browser, I move the mouse around and you can see the coordinates changing. So what I want you guys to make note of here is that we set up the event listener only once and that is in component did mount. Now let's implement the same with use effect and functional components. I'm going to create a new file called hookmouse.js. Within the file, I'm going to use the snippet rfce to create a functional component. I'm also going to import use state and use effect from React. Next, I'm going to create two state variables for x and y initialized to zero. In the JSX, I will render these state variables. Oops, the x coordinate and the y coordinate. Now we need to add an event listener for the mouse event. And this is where we use the effect hook. Use effect accepts a function as an argument. Within the function, let's first add a log statement. Console.log use effect called and then we add the event listener. Window dot add event listener. We listen to the mouse move event and the event handler is log mouse position. Let's define log mouse position. It is going to accept event as its argument and within the body let's log mouse event and then we are going to set the x coordinate e dot client x and the y coordinate e dot client y back in app.js let's include hook mouse and comment out class mouse if you now save the file and take a look at the browser in the console, you can see that we have use effect called from the initial render. And now, when I move the mouse around, you can see that the effect is called every time the component re-renders. This is not surprising though, as it is exactly what we learned in the previous videos. The effect is called after every render, unless you specify the dependency array. For our example, we don't really want the effect to depend on anything. We want it to be called once on initial render only. And the way we achieve that is by simply specifying an empty array as the second parameter to use effect. We are basically telling React, hey, this particular effect does not depend on any props or state. So there is just no reason for you to call this effect on re-renders. And React replies, so you want me to call this effect only on initial render and forget about it? I can do that. And sure enough, we have mimicked component did mount. If you now save the file and head back to the browser, you can see that we have use effect called on initial render. And when I move the mouse around, we only have the mouse event logs. Use effect is not called on subsequent renders. So the point to keep in mind from this example 
is that we can mimic component did mount with use effect hook by simply passing in an empty array as the second parameter to use effect. Now I know we could have probably talked about this in 30 seconds. But as always, I want you to understand why we are writing the code that we write. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and let's take a look at another example in the next video.